everyone, it's Nicole and we're here with another Mix It Up Monday which is going to be a Project Life Spread and this is going to be week 14. Now what I'm hoping is this was, will be the last week that we'll only have one week. From now on I'm going to have to try to, I'm going to try and have two or three weeks together. And because I calculated, I think there's like 13 weeks till the end of the year. So if I want to be able to get my Project Life done before then, I'm going to have to pick up the pace here and that's the whole point of this right is catching up on project life but I have to tell you if you haven't seen how I got myself prepared to catch up on project life go back and look at that video um, tonight I'm going to or by the time you see this video I'm going to do a playlist that's going to be project life and everything's going to be in there so you can it's going to be PL 2015 so you can go in there and check how I got myself ready and how I'm sort of keeping ahead of the curve so that when I have, you know, half an hour, because really to get a, a project life spread together, it doesn't take that long. But it's, you know, printing those photos and getting all the cards that you want and the embellishment that takes a long time. But if you divide the tasks into, or the... What you need to do into tasks then when you have a minute everything's all there so you just boom put it together so in this case for week 14 which is march 29th to april 4th i decide to go with gray and orange and uh, i pulled all those colors together the cards the embellishments and i sat down i think it took me about three days to get all the pictures printed up till I'm still a little bit behind on the photo printing, but at that point where I had stopped was like week 33, I believe. So it brought it me, it brought me till August. Now what I'm going to do is once I get close to getting to those weeks, I'm going to sit down again, block out an hour and do a few more weeks. And it's, I just, you know, like I said, smoke was coming out of my Canon selfie, but it was done. And it seems that when you get into that routine then you know you get more done than if I sit down and print one week and then put it together and then the next week I print one more week because if in that whole week if you would have had 20 minutes that you could have put together a layout because you have to go print the photos and pick everything you don't do it because you know it's it's too much work but if it's all done then you get her done so let's talk about this spread before it ends because it was a really quick one. It took me about uh, 40 minutes to complete. So I stamped on the first card. I'm going to stamp March 29th and April to April 4th. I, I'm going to put week 14. I'm going to put do a little bit of journaling on the main card, which a lot of times I don't do, but this time I did because I even put a title on this one, which is going to be end of winter because yay, we had had enough of winter. The next one was, um, there was still a little bit of snow. So Mason was at my daughter's boyfriend's house and they, of course, were playing hockey outside and then they build a little snowman and my daughter on fo Facebook had said, well, maybe it's an alien snowman so that's what I put here because he's like it's just sort of a blob on the ground and a couple of branches stick it out for his arms and uh, so I thought that was cute so I want to remember that so I put alien I'm gonna I'm going to put alien snowman on that card right now that I'm doing the um, another card says perfection and it was just some comments that some people had left me on YouTube that week and I had just printed it out and it it just makes me happy the sweet comments that you guys leave and then I'm going to end up putting a badge on that that has a little heart now I've already worked on this card with uh, just a little uh, picture of Mason just a little close-up and oh this is the week that um did I take get his pick no I just put uh, that he's so good and um, that I think the week before he had gone to get his hair cut but I didn't have picture for the place for this picture and I don't I don't mind if it's not in the same week 
but um, that she was impressed for a two-year-old that she, he was able to sit still. And um, she says usually at that age, they have to shave the hair because they don't sit still. But he sat still and she did a regular haircut on him. So, And uh, he went with Josh. So he thought this was a big boy thing because, you know, he got his hair cut and then Josh got his hair cut. So he thought that was pretty cool. Then... Um, that week we had nachos for supper, so I just quickly took a picture of the nachos and then I just put nacho night and then um, just put a little bit of embellishments there. The next card is uh, the bottom left there and that's now I put it in my album but it doesn't matter. Um, it's just pictures of Mason and he's sitting in uh, my daughter's boyfriend's truck and uh, I just put his nickname that I have for him, Mason Jar. And I put a little sticker that said, Oh, happy day, and here we go, adventure. He's always on an adventure, that kid. Like, he never, ever stops. So that's what I'm going to journal about, is that he never stops. And I have to say that the I don't journal on video, but as soon as I'm done, I journal it, and it's in my album right now, and it is journaled. So... Uh, I tried to do it right away because, you know, if I wait till at week 52, then it's going to be hard for me to remember uh, what happened those weeks. So even at na now, like I think we're, what on week, well, we're in October, so I don't know what week that is, but I think it's in the 30s, 37 or something like that, 38. But um, even now going back, it was, it's a, you know, bit of an effort but it's only 20 weeks or so back so you know I, I can remember so I want to do it right away the journaling now the last card that I'm going to work on is uh, of an episode or a show that I started um, watching in January I believe and I think I finished it in um, in March I, there's 10 season of this show, it's Bones, and oh my goodness, I quickly became obsessed with this show, and I had to watch it every day until it was done, and I mean, there's 10 seasons till, I think there was only one season that was a super short one, but most of them had, you know, 20 some episodes in each, and I watched it in two months, um, so I just talk about how he quickly became one of my favorite shows, and it, that it had a lot of medical background to it which I love plus there's you know the police work kind of behind it which I also love which is sort of my um, my uh, two favorite things in TV shows I guess and plus the star of the show you know David um, I won't even try to say his last name but who doesn't remember him from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel, right? <laughs> so he, I loved him back then and I loved him in this show too. And uh, I like to document the shows that I watch. And so from week to week, um, especially if I don't have a lot of photos. And look at that, I did journal on camera. Surprising. I did this a few weeks ago. So sometimes I don't remember exactly how I did it, but... Um, yes, I like to journal the sh TV shows that I watch so that, you know, years ahead I can go back and see uh, what I watched at that time. And I think that's going to pretty much finish off my layout, I believe. And... So hopefully next week for Mix It Up Monday, it's going to be two, maybe three weeks, depending on how many I can get done. Just having some issues with my computer right now. And anyway, it's saying that it's full. So I'm having a hard time even rendering any videos because there's no space on my computer. And I deleting everything that I can think of deleting, but it's still saying it's full. So obviously there's some files with that new Yosemite Ugh. Um, the files are in a different place so um, but anyway we will figure it out but right now that's when I thought of putting that title on uh, that first card which usually I don't put a title but there I was so excited that winter was coming to an end 
it deserved a title. We had a rough, rough, rough winter last winter. So hopefully this winter won't be as hard on us. So that's it. So be watching next week for some more Project Life. And uh, I hope you enjoy this. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.